and to uh, to get the shade to M1 I like to put a little brown stain in force on here that I don't want to put too much I'd rather it be lighter than darker if it's lighter I can always um, stain it before I glaze it with a little external stain so I'm just mixing making sure that the stain is incorporated well here I'm going to also put a little sealer separator on the contact area, the adjacent tooth, so that the porcelain does not stick to the model. I will use a brush for this build up. And I just incrementally apply the porcelain. This will be a three layer build up. I will use an incisal and a luster overlay. use my tissue to keep the porcelain dry so that it doesn't slump as I'm building it up. You can also close it, close the model to uh, absorb the, the water. I will build this to full contour and then I will cut this back when I apply my incisal This is really similar to uh, metal to uh, porcelain to metal. There's no difference with the buildup on zirconia that I have found.
Okay. Crown is built up to uh, its full contour. And at this stage, I will now cut back the incisal area to apply my incisal porcelain. Okay, I have my instrument here for cutting this back. It uh, has a blade. And I just lightly cut the incisal back. Trying not to go down to the to the core. Look down, make sure that I have enough off the buckle. Okay, that's all I'm going to do there. Then I will put some uh, developmental grooves in it just for aesthetic reason. Little striations here my brush and I will set this aside and begin mixing up my incisal porcelain Okay, I just put uh, the incisal on, very light, just to give some contrast in color, I'm not really building this up at all. Most of that buildup is going to be with the luster. That's all I do there. <clears throat> and you can do a little blending if you like here. And then, <clears throat> at this point, I add my luster and bring.